Hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Black Star Rising. In the last episode, we started Stage 5, but didn't quite finish it. And in this episode, we are going to finish Stage 5 and go on to Stage 6. And go on to Stage 6. Try to say that in one breath, it didn't work. We're starting with Pharaoh's War Crown in this episode. Alright. Hopefully I can get a lightning, so I can show off the awesome lightning bug. Because this light, because this, because uh, the lightning bug is broken as crap in this level because of that awesome vertical. Um, usually verticals aren't very good, but, ooh, that's a good power-up. So, yeah, um, glad to be playing this game again after being obsessive over Burger Shop for the past couple of days. Seriously, I'm actually getting really bored of that game. Oh dear. Um, kind of my fault though, because I decided it was a good idea to play the first three restaurants in one day. Um, which is everything I've done up to the LP this far, plus a couple of other levels that I haven't done yet. Those will be featured in tomorrow's episode. Oh no, I messed up. Alright, just, whatever. Give him our 1,050 points, and we'll call it a day. Um, yeah, so I'm on stage 5, and, uh, Pharaoh's War Crown is not a bad level. Um, I love it. Uh, I actually don't know what to talk about today. That's weird. Um, let's just, hopefully I have enough time to actually get this video recorded. Oops. Like, in terms of screencast-o-matic. Alright, and that's gone. So, yeah, sixth episode of the show. Um, I can't wait to finish this game, because I love this game. Um, I really hope I get Luxor and Rise in HD for my birthday, but if it, it doesn't happen, I'm sorry, but... Uh, the LP will be nine videos shorter than I planned it to be. I'm very sorry. Um, but if I can do it, then awesome. Even if Luxor and Rise in HD is nowhere near the awesome quality the original was, but... Got it all, wow. Um, yeah, Luxor Moon Rising's HD isn't really as good as the original Luxor Moon Rising. That can be said for every HD remake. All three of them just don't really have the best. The free play mode is. Oh, yeah! The free play mode is a cool concept. I will. I'll, I'll give the game that kind of credit. Quick kill is awesome. Technically, you could use that one ever, but. It's really good for, like, mods when you use this map, and, um, the map. And you have, like, one long segment that's the entire level. Single segment. Fireball trick does not work in this level. So just throw it whenever, because it doesn't work in this level. So next up is, uh, Stage 5's extra level, which is not as good as the Stage 5 extra level in the original game. Why I'm comparing those two is because they are very similar. Extra levels. Hopefully I don't really go into 5 o'clock doing this video, because at 5 o'clock I want to something on that I want to watch, so hopefully. I shouldn't, though. I'm only doing how many levels? Like, 5? Which isn't really that bad. Anyway, done. On to the extra 10 segments. Oasis of the West, which is nowhere near as good as Oasis of the East ever was! Yeah, I don't really like this level that much. Oasis of the East was way better. Alright. Oh, just wait until stage 8's extra level. Stage H extra level is a pain. I do not like it. Alright. Actually, I'd say that for a lot of lecture players. A lot of, well, it's a pretty underrated level. It's a really hated level, I guess you could say. I wouldn't even call it overhated. Because I don't really know. It's not as like overhated as Kufu's Revenge is, but then again, this comes from someone who's never actually... who hasn't played the original, so... I can't really judge Kufu's Revenge, you trolls are going to. Thank you for... This level is odd. It really is. Whatever. Oh! Oh, you know, troll me with that. Oh! Oh, that's a funny game. Was definitely not the most perfect performance you could have seen, but 
whatever. However, it's hard without like accidentally like taking the camera with me or something. This level really isn't that bad. It's, you really have to, I don't know, I don't like this level. It's not really that bad though. I just don't, as an actual level, but personal opinion wise, I don't like this level. But as an, but from the standpoint of it being an actual level, darn it, I kind of actually like it though. Um, an actual, as an actual level, I don't like it that much, but as, well, as a level, I can't talk. As a level, it's all oh, right, but personally, I don't like this level. But this level really isn't that difficult or anything. Except for the fact this level does appear four times because it's an extra level. That's a lot of stuff the game loves throwing at me, okay. That was kind of kind of it. Oh, of course something survives the fireball. Done! That sage fight, that was easy. Alright, stage 5 is over. Oh, my game's just like... I thought my game was gonna crash for a second. Whoops. Alright. Council from the Tombs. Here we go. This again. <coughs> Alright, back to Treasure City of Ramses. Okay. Not really looking forward to this, though. Oh, this game gets worse, and I can't... Shoot. Crap. Oh, trust me, this game gets much worse as it progresses. I think there's absolutely no doubt about it. Oh, this glitch. Cool, I destroyed it! Nice! Uh, what that glitch does is it turns the scorpion into a black hole. I don't know what causes it. It's a really weird glitch, though. I think it's chance and it's, like, required. I think if you shoot with the scorpion, it's gonna hit right before it hits it. It causes the glitch. I don't know exactly. I just call it the black hole glitch, because that's kind of what it is. Yep, even though Super Smash Bros. took that name first, I'm gonna still call it the black hole glitch. Even if Melee was the only game with the true black hole glitch. Okay. I still have to do two more levels after this one. I just want to troll the level and do this. Screw you. And I got it all. What am I doing? This. I love trolling the game. Scorpion seems to. Uh, after Scorpion uh, moves, the Scarab seems to speed up a little bit. Um, I kind of noticed that. I'm gonna turn into a black hole again. Stand a chance, really. 
Alright, next up is... Ah, treasure of the... Or opening of the mouth ceremony. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't like this level. Alright. I think I've already elaborated on that in stage 3. I do not like this level. And give me coins! Seriously! I'm making these awesome big shots and you're not giving me my coins! <laughs> also, you're about to get wrecked. Oh god, I didn't waste it like I did in stage 3-6. Uh, I'll just shoot that there. Quick kill that. In both. Alright. I already have 24 coins, which is pretty impressive, though. I'm just gonna shoot that there. That was good. Um, alright. Fireball's a best shot at corners, just to elaborate. Kind of where there are a lot of verts in a single location, if that makes any sense. Which, from a modder standpoint, it does, but as an actual, just casual luxury player, that probably made no sense, but... Uh, verts are basically what makes the track a track. These pads are made out of things that's called verts uh, that are put into an OBJ file. Um, and this controls where the spheres go. Depending on the order in which the, each vert is listed, it depends on where the spheres go or something like that. It's weird. Alright. So I'm going to just quick kill whatever comes next. And Fear me, because I'm going to quick kill that guy. I get, uh, I think I'm I'm pretty good at quick killing, as you can tell. Um, oh, look at what I have. Another toy to use on my enemy, Scarabs. I'm a jerk. <laughs> Alright. Darn it. Extra life again. As much as I dislike this level, I got that. That was a pointless cover bomb. Sponge streak in this stage has been increased to 450. I don't know. Now the highest um, win conditions go with 600 in the vanilla game, but you can make them go higher with modding. Um, win conditions of zero, I think, are possible um, through modding, of course. Which I think would make the level instantly, and um, besides, obviously, you have to, you know, complete it, but it's pretty obvious. Done. One more level. Um, this game gets hard. I'm going to let you in on that. This game gets hard. And you're already kind of seeing, like, I'm struggling a little more compared to stage 3 and spheres and scarabs are able to get further because obviously the spheres are not faster. The segments I think are, no I don't think the segments get really large until the very late game, like stage 11 and 12. I'm not even going to hesitate to use that, I'm just going to do that. Quick kills are awesome too, so. That kind of the time to chain, that is what I want. There's no reason to use that for any other... Oops. There's no reason to really quit. No! There's no reason to... Quick kill. Alright. And there we go. Okay, good. I actually really like stage 6's, um, uh, extra level. Except once- it's one of those levels that I remember a lot differently than I remember it as a kid. Like, that- no, that's a lot different than I remember it as a kid. As a kid, the level, um, stage 6-7, six, 
had a much darker tint to it as a kid. But now it's a lot brighter. I don't know why. It's probably just nostalgia. I don't know. Or my really crappy memory getting the best of me. Talking a lot this video, I don't know. It's probably gonna look. It's probably gonna happen in the later parts of the game. Is that I'm just gonna be constantly talking less and less? Because let's be fair. Um, this game does get more difficult. So honestly, really do hope you understand that this game gets pretty tough. And so does Burger Shop. Burger Shop can get pretty tough. And you can already tell that I'm only at level 45 in the LP. This game doesn't stress me out as much because I kind of know what I'm doing in this game, but at least I have a better understanding of what I'm doing in this game than I am uh, in Burger Shop, but... That's the end of this video, I guess. So, next time on Luxor Mind Rising, we're going to be going on to crossing the rail. Oh, no. And finishing stage six from there. See you guys next time. Later.